Hi, Stefan. Hello. Hi. Hi. Look, look what you brought this here, right? I did. What in the world is this and what are we going to be looking at today? Uh, this is a, a water bottle. Okay. Uh, I use it when I'm uh, training on my bike. Okay. Uh, I put a water and uh, a sugary carbohydrate type fluids in there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, recently, uh, my girlfriend uh, noticed that inside here, yep. uh, it's all black. Ah. And she, she was a little concerned about that. And I said to uh, my girlfriend, I said, well, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years and I've always seen that sort of scum on there and I just ignore it. Yeah. Is, and, is but your girlfriend, your girlfriend basically was a little worried? She was. She thought, yeah, maybe you'd want to, want to okay. be drinking whatever's in there. So you basically uh, gave me the bottle to do what? Well, I wanted you to tell me what is the black. I, I can <laughs> assume I know what it is, well, but what tell me it what is? it is. Well, it's some sort of uh, back... Bacteria or some yeah, okay. sort of fungus Look, or yeah, I I put it of course under the microscope. Okay, um, and here um, on my laptop here on my laptop computer. I got the footage and Excellent. we're going to have a look at it uh, together now and okay. I'm going to explain to you um, a little bit of, of what we're able to see here so I'm going to press play look look at this do you see those uh, things here looks like a fish tank <laughs> <laughs> what do you think these could be those yeah. black little yeah. patches over here uh, it looks like when I was a kid what was growing on the walls of the fish tank some sort yeah. of algae yeah well these are not algae these are actually it's a fungus a fungus okay a mold okay. or maybe di even different types of uh, mold uh, species and you know that especially over here because here you can see the individual cells right Yep. And you see that they're kind of like like almost like 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 fibers or it's kind of long, huh? so they're filaments, you know. So mm -hmm. that's called the these are called the hufe of the of the fungus. So yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. mold. You got some mold in here. You've been growing some okay. <laughs> some mold in the bottle. <laughs> Is that bad for me? Well, I mean. You're, you've been how long have you been using the bottle well, this bottle for about a year yeah, I see, use it three and, and, or four and, times <laughs> yeah. and, and you're still I wash hot. it off I wash it off with yeah. hot water yeah but uh, those parts in there of course are kind of difficult to reach yeah and yeah. Uh, therefore of, of course there is some some scum growing in there you know is it bad for you I mean you're fine up to this point uh, but generally knowing about it you want to clean it off, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's kind of, yeah. Um, so you cannot automatically assume that it, that the fungus is poisonous. You're not eating it, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, you, you, knowing that there is fungus growing somewhere, unknown microorganisms, obviously you want to get it removed. Okay. Yeah. Um, I definitely would not eat any fungus uh, uh, that's uh, growing on bread or, or, or on other food, obviously, because mm -hmm. then you're actually ingesting it. Mm -hmm. And you're not eating poisonous mushrooms either, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. you don't want to eat uh, poisonous mold either, right? right. I, I'm not saying it's poisonous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, very nice to see here. Um, yeah. See those fibers here. All of these things here. These are all, um, yeah, uh, very indicative of, of, uh, of, of fun fungi uh, mm -hmm. growing here, right? <laughs> Yep. Is that a function of the sugar or, or what? Yeah. So basically fungi um, essentially um, are um, heterotrophs. This means they need some kind of a food source. Mm -hmm. Now, it, of course, it is sugar as well. But uh, you, I suppose that you've got all the tea in there or some other organic material. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So even if it's not sugar, uh, then um, it's what other nutrients that it's able to find there. Right. So if I just put water in the bottle, would I still have this problem? Uh, um, less likely. Uh, because there is simply not enough organic uh, material in the water. Mm -hmm. um, um, however, what I've seen is, is um, especially in clear water bottles, glass water bottles, mm -hmm. um, if you keep on refilling it, then you will not grow fungi in it, but actually algae, because uh, they will actually get the sunlight and they're able to, to produce their own organic uh, food, so to say, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I've actually, that's why um, if you have a clear water bottle, then you probably would like to keep it dark. And, and those dots that you see over there. Yeah, okay? I see something's the, moving now. Yeah, yeah, these are bacteria. Okay, so, so these are definitely bacteria. So you see that the bacteria, those dots here are significantly smaller. Here, here, that's a nice yeah, one. Wow. Over. Yeah. Um, and those are from the bottle. Yes. They're from okay. the bottle, yeah. So they're kind of growing in between the mold, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's nothing unusual to find. If mold is growing there, then probably bacteria is going to be there, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, and every time when you drink, you'll be kind of ingesting them as well. But then again, you've got the acid in your stomach, which is taking care of it that it's not able mm -hmm. to survive, you know. Okay. So the acid in the stomach actually is, is quite important for, for killing off many of these cells. And if the amount is not too high, then generally you're fine. And you cannot automatically assume that you're bad. But mm -hmm. knowing about it, you probably want to avoid it in any case yeah? okay yeah if, if i don't see black on the bottle can i assume so if i cleaned it well and i let it dry and if i don't see black can i assume well nothing is completely free of microorganisms uh -huh. so of course they're going to be some probably growing there you might might be too small for you to see it mm -hmm. uh, but if you see it then i mean it's already reached a level where I would say, okay, maybe the next time you want to use some kind of a toothbrush or so, or kind of to clean it off, not 
necessarily always because it's 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 a problem, mm-hmm. but simply kind of to keep it clean. But then again, I you, you see. <laughs> Um, you you do want to avoid this stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. If you've got some food pieces remaining on 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 a plate and mm-hmm. it starts to decompose and rot, and you're eating from the plate, mm-hmm. I mean, you can become ill. Okay. Yeah. Um. So um, I, I'm not saying um, yeah, it, it's okay, but I'm also not saying it, it, it's always a, a, a huge problem. Right. You know, it depends really on the type of microorganisms that are growing there and whether you're actually ingesting. I mean, if you if you don't wash your plates properly. Yeah. And you, you got kind of uh, yucky stuff on the plate, mm-hmm. and then you're eating food from that. I mean, you mm-hmm. can become ill. So essentially, yeah. if I get this right, I could essentially get some form of food poisoning. Theor- theoretically, yes. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, we are eating all the time food that's maybe not entirely fresh, mm-hmm. um, and where you have some kind of, uh, yeah. But normally, you already start to taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, of course, yeah. I see what you're saying. And, and here, it actually does remain on the bottle, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, okay. knowing about it, I mean, All right. if I wouldn't ignore it, mm-hmm. but then on the other hand, it's kind of hard to avoid, you know, as well. Yeah. I mean, if you if you've got, for example got walls somewhere in your apartment and it's yeah. moist and you've got the fungus growing on there. Mm. You want to avoid that stuff sure. because you're, yeah, yeah. You read about that all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's a, it's it's a, it's also maybe a, to a large amount. But so I would say, um, yeah, clean it off with hot water, obviously, mm-hmm. and you know, baby bottles. When I had my kids, I mean, they were we had, we boiled them off. Yeah, every time. yeah, yeah. Because if you have actually small pieces of food or milk still on there, mm-hmm. okay, and you've got bacteria growing, it might make the milk. You know. All right. Yeah, but, uh, so in the end, my girlfriend was right when she said I should be more careful about this because I was pretty. Look, I, I saw I was kind of like, yeah, whatever. I've been doing this for years. I know. I um, knowing about it, um, I, I don't like fungi in sure. general. I don't like to eat mushrooms, and I do not like uh-huh. yeah uh, to eat, uh, to be exposed to unknown um, yeah. microbes. Um, not because I know that they're always necessarily dangerous. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I know I'm exposed to them all the time anyway. You know. Yeah. But knowing about it, you just uh, avoid it, you know. Okay. And then that's why, for example, in the refrigerator, when when I've got moldy food in there, I'm not just simply cutting the piece off and throwing and eating the rest, mm-hmm. right? I just the whole thing goes into the right. uh, into the trash can, mm-hmm. yeah, because it's simply not worth it, you right? Know? Yeah, but then having said that, a couple of years ago, I've eaten moldy bread, mm-hmm. not knowing it, mm-hmm. because I did not turn on the light, and I simply ate the bread, and then later on I discovered it was mold, mold yeah. was all over the place, and I didn't see it. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Then when it's just yeah. some again, black film. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm. You see, for me, I mean, it's a difficult thing. I don't want to be get for people to get paranoid sure. about things, you know, because yeah. some people are overly conscious, health conscious, and they're worried about every little thing, you know, mm-hmm. and and they're disinfecting everything. I said, no, that's counterproductive, you know, because mm-hmm. the human body, it's natural. The human body is exposed to to microorganisms the whole day, the time. That's why we have an immune system, right? Sure. Um, so sometimes people are overly cautious, mm-hmm. um, and then some people are not cautious at all. And and, mm-hmm. and where where it's kind of obvious, man, if if another person is ill and is sneezing and coughing, and he's ill, then try to avoid spreading the aerosols. You sure. Know? Yeah. We've just seen this now during the pandemic, right? Yeah. And uh, and for me, it's kind of interesting this this. Uh, to, the, the two extreme attitudes that sometimes exist mm-hmm. in society, you know, yeah. on one hand, who, who cares, you know, mm-hmm. and then the other hand, people who are overly cautious yeah. and running around trying to disinfect everything, yeah. you know, um, and, um, but maybe, maybe, maybe the truth is somewhere in, in the middle and a certain amount of common sense mm-hmm. is, is also a little bit, uh, I would say, um, relevant, I would okay. say, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I think we're just going to leave it at that. Okay. Thank you Perfect. very much. Thank Thanks. you very much for the water bottle here. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and if you have anything else, if you have anything else uh, to, to show me anything interesting for my viewers, by. then you can drop it by. Okay. Okay. I wish all of you uh, all the best. Uh, happy micro hunting as always. And uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.